and welcome to InfoSecurity Europe 2014. More than 13,000 IT professionals have come here to London's Earls Court for three days of networking and knowledge sharing about IT security issues. So I'm here at the SMS Passcode stand where I'm joined by Torben Anderson, the Chief Commercial Officer at SMS Passcode. So Torben, 13,000 people attending today. Tell me why do you think this event is so popular and why is keeping your business safe such a major concern for businesses today? Well, I think there's a number of reasons for that. And more, most importantly, is probably that IT security has just become such a big issue. It's such a challenge for everyone to keep themselves safe. If you look at it today, cybercrime is actually more profitable than, than, um, than drug-related crimes. And hackers are relentlessly beating up on businesses in order to, to hack them. And it doesn't matter whether you're big or small, whether you're a brand name or not, you, you need to use the latest technology to remain safe. And if you're not remaining safe, you're really being under pressure both financially and from a customer perspective. Yes, and SMS Passcode is the leading technology in adaptive multi-factor authentication. Why is multi-factor authentication such a leading weapon in keeping your business safe from hackers? Well, it's really just a very nice place to start, and the most natural place to start, really, because at the end of the day, if, if the hacker's preferred weapon of choice is really to use weak or stolen credentials when they're doing their hacking activities, and we see that in more than 70% of the cases where there's actually breaches that weak or stolen passwords are used. So adding that second factor and actually making it impossible for the hacker just to get in with a username and a password is really a, a great place to heighten your security in a very simple and easy, straightforward way. And there's a lot of talk about the heart bleed bug at this show today. Is SMS Passcode affected by this bug? And do you have any advice for people affected? Well, the good news is we're not affected by the bug. For our customers out there who's already using SMS Passcode, they're actually um, secured in the sense that because they have two-factor authentication, even if they've been using secure SSL and they've been affected by the bug, if someone has been compromising passwords, they're not able to use them because they have two-factor authentication. So from that point of view, we are actually in a pretty safe position on that. Yes, and now I see the theme of your show is adaptive user authentication. Tell me a bit more about this. Well, if you look at it traditionally, people have been, you know, for 20 years, been using multi-factor or two-factor authentication. In the beginning, it was through a token that just displayed a, a, a small code. And um, it was really a, not a very secure way of doing it. It was a lot of hassle to manage getting these token out to users. Then we started to see mobile solutions, and that's where SMS came along, SMS passcode came along with, with, with an SMS-based solution. And the new theme now is to talk about adaptive authentication, where we actually use more information than just the passcode to, um, to check whether the user is, is who, it, who it claims to be. So we take contextual information, like the location you're logging in from, the time of day, um, the systems you want to log into, and use them actually to, 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 to assess the risk and hence set the, the authentication level at the right level depending on where you're coming in from. So let's take an example. You're sitting at home in your couch and you've been logging in from there several times in the past. We know that it's you coming in from there because we know you're coming in from the same location. And then we can maybe let you in without actually asking for a second factor. Whereas if you're logging in from an airport um, uh, lounge or from a hotel somewhere, then we would say, well, that's actually a different risk situation. It could be that a hacker trying to get in now, and therefore we will raise the security bar. And by doing that, we are we're heightening security, but at the same time, we're not making it too difficult for the end user. And at the end of the day, that's the, the real thing that we need to find a balance between, because if we make the, the security too, too difficult to use for people, they'll just try to avoid it. So with adaptive authentication, we're getting the best of both worlds. We're getting the, the, the heightened security when we need it, and we're getting the high usability every day. And SMS passcode is just lying there as a service behind and then assessing whether it's now is the right time to heighten the security or whether we can just let the user write in. Thank you, Torben. And I think that's all we have time for today. If you want to learn more about how to keep your data safe through multi-factor authentication, then visit smspasscode.com.